We at TDH love ourselves some modded Suzuki's, Turbo Swifts, modded Balenos, engine swap Gypsies, we love them all. But today we are going to be covering a car that we've not covered before and I really genuinely think that you guys could take this as your next project build. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and this is a Stage 3 Suzuki S-Cross 1.6. Now, why do I think this is a great canvas? Let's talk about the engine and the mods. So, stock, it produces 120 bhp and 320 newton meters of torque from a 1.6 DDIS that is fiat derived. Now, though, it produces much more because it's got a stage 3 Garrett turbo, Garrett intercooler, of which all of the plumbing has been done by engineering exponent here in house. And you've also got an HPI air filter and a DCAT downpipe that are custom. And you've also got a muffler that is made straight here at Engineering Exponent. How much more you ask? Well, on the dyno this thing was able to make a ridiculous 200 bhp at the crank and 437 newton meters of torque. Absolutely bonkers. Moreover, an S-Cross build, in our opinion, is one of the easiest, most affordable and reliable ways to get 200 bhp out of a car. Here is a breakdown of the stage 3 build. Quite the shocker, right? In around 2 lakh rupees, you can get yourself an S-Cross pushing 200 bhp. Quite the deal, right? More importantly, this is a diesel build, so the fuel economy is still there and the torque is just relentless. Hey guys, today I want to recommend my friend's website called OneWin, where you can earn money steadily and my favorite game on the website is the Lucky Jet game, where your main task is to collect money before the pirate flies away. Now I have made a deposit of 3000 rupees in my account and I'm going to show you how to do it. After you have registered your account on OneWin, you basically have to replenish it. So press on the deposit button and select the Paytm method. After that, you can go down to the Lucky Jet game, which is in the OneWin game section. I will place two bets and wait for good odds. To earn money, I must have time to raise and earn money. Wow, <laughs> 1.55 times, I will take 2325 rupees and let's keep playing. Wow guys, 2.13 times and I won 3195 rupees. Now I will do the withdrawal of my funds. You must log into your account and click withdrawal after which you select the method which is most convenient for you and indicate the amount. That's it now, I'll just have to wait for my money. I will leave the link for this game down in the description below and the guys from OneWin have been very generous and will give our subscribers an exclusive offer which is 25,000 rupees for your first deposit when you play the Lucky Jet game and you can use our promo code DRIVERS500 to redeem this offer. The registration, the link and everything is down in the description below or in a pinned comment. Oh my god, the money has already been deposited in my account, now I can completely rest. Now when it comes to the looks of this specific S-Cross, you're definitely not going to expect that this one is the one making the noise outside your street because it's just so unassuming. Even though the owner has done some very tasteful mods to it aesthetically, like the Xenon headlights, a Euro spec front grille and SX4 rims. Now, in terms of suspension, the car is on KYB dampers on the front and Monroe dampers on the back. The owner does have a pair of IBAC lowering springs, but Bangalore roads don't really deserve a 50mm drop. Now, driving the Stage 3 S-Cross on the busy streets of Bangalore, sedately, it is pretty much nothing special. Uh, it is the same feeling that you would get driving any other car that is stock. In fact, it is very sedate and I, for one, love the duality of a car that can be super sedate and just if your driving style changes, it just becomes a completely different animal. There is no buttons, there is no modes, it's just put your gear down and put your foot down and your car is completely different. 
Now the torque is just so addictive from 2000 rpm all the way to 5 because this is a diesel it feels super linear but there is a little bit of lag from 1 to 2 and if you are a gear high or a gear too far it's not going to be spooling at all in fact it is a very sedate car because it kind of feels like a naturally aspirated car in the city but when the turbo spools you are shot off into space plus it is quite a light car so all of this power is definitely going to be shoving this car really far into the distance and it does feel like it has a lot of power still left because this 1.6 ddis is very tolerant so if you want to put a little bit more of an aggressive tune or you want to get that turbo lag a little bit further out and then get that full shabang you definitely can do it so the owner used to drive the car with yellow stuff uh, yellow stuff brake pads from ebc but now they are in a stock setup which uh, is a little unnerving because of the amount of power that you've got but as long as you're respectful the brakes do bite very well and they have a very progressive feel to the pair to the foot which makes it very confidence inspiring and even the clutch is not heavy not light it is very responsive and it's also got a very uh, predictable biting point which makes shifting also very easy when it comes to the power the 202 bhp isn't uh, the number that you're supposed to be looking at but the 438 newton meters of torque that is a lot of torque for a tiny tiny little car like this and when it comes to the interior the owner has also done some very tasteful mods so the speakers are shipped from israel and cost 2 lakh rupees yes you heard that right and you've got a jcv head unit the speakers are called morel uh, speakers which are very very nice and they are custom made specifically for this car and the acoustics of this car so the sound system actually feels very very rich inside so this is a very nice place to be and it's a very nice car to drive considering that all in all this could be yours for like maybe 11 12 lakh rupees this is definitely something that should be on your mind if you're going to be buying one of one of these or actually having a project more importantly the s cross has some good creature comforts like auto climate control keyless entry and start stop button and a pretty basic but informative instrument cluster the s cross has a six speed manual gearbox so this stage three setup paired with the six speed is a great combo for someone looking to munch miles on the highway since the tune can allow the car to cruise at decent highway speeds and the sixth speed being an overdrive gear will allow for it to extract some good fuel economy numbers also not like the s cross is small it is a fairly large car relative to other suzukis and gets a healthy boot space of 353 liters the perfect indian grand tourer maybe the guys at engineering exponent and wolf performance are claiming that this is quite possibly one of the very few stage 3 s cross builds in the world which is quite ridiculous but also understandable since all of the stuff you see on this car isn't like a Volkswagen or a Skoda where everything is bolt on. Wolf Performance has built three different S-Cross Stage 3s and all of them have been developed by Wolf. Quite a lot of custom work and R&D has gone into making this setup work and that's the beauty of the boys over at Engineering Exponent and Wolf Performance. They like to think out of the box. More importantly, all of the plumbing, piping and other small bits and pieces have been made in-house at Engineering Exponent and even more impressive is that the whole car still feels OEM. Even more astonishing is that when the car had a proper set of tires and wheels, it had done 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.9 seconds, which is enough to put many mainstream tuner cars to shame. All in all, the S-Cross definitely impresses when it comes to bang for buck. The car is actually not that expensive even in the first-hand market and when you consider that all of the mods when it comes to performance cost 2.5 lakh rupees, this is definitely something that you can afford including the maintenance and the body parts for it because it's a Maruti Suzuki after all and it is very easy to maintain these cars in India. 
If you're in the market for something that has 200 bhp and is quite affordable, this is actually a really good canvas for you to start your project work with. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.